How to connect your Shopify store to Instagram and Facebook. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you're looking to connect your Shopify store to Instagram and Facebook, or more commonly, we can just say meta, then you can do it in a few easy steps. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is click on settings on the bottom left of your Shopify dashboard. Then click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left and then click on Shopify App Store on the top right. Now, for this, we're going to be integrating the Meta app onto our Shopify store. So just search for Facebook and Instagram. So once you search for Facebook and Instagram, you will see this application called Facebook and Instagram. It has a 3.4 star rating and it has been downloaded 4,000 times previously. So we're just going to open up this application. It's the official application develop developed by Meta and you're going to click on install. So once you click on install over here, we're going to be led back to our installation process. Now over here, you're going to click on add sales channel on the top right. And after the sales channel has been added, we're going to complete our authorization. Now you guys will see on the left side of your screen, it says Facebook and Instagram. I like to click on pin to navigation to make it easier for us to access. Now, after you have done that, you will see your setup. Now on your setup, you want to get started by linking your account. So you're going to click on start setup over here and then click on connect account. From here, you're going to click on continue and I've already logged on to my account. But if you haven't logged on to your account, you can simply log on to your Facebook account. Now this Facebook account should be the one that you want to use to start selling your product. Then you have your business account, so you can click on connect over here. And then after that, you can choose your preference. So if you want it to be conservative or enhanced or maximum. Now, what exactly is this? Well, this is a conservative ad preference. And this third party cookies that collect and share customers data will probably show it only to particular sets of people. Then you have advanced. And then this option also shares your customer's data to the Facebook group and they will help better understand what type of people are oriented towards your customer towards your product and find more customers similar to that. And then maximum is where you are going to be showing your product to as many people as possible, whether or not they end up being converting customers or not. Now you can view the details about each one of these types of marketing strategies. I like to use the enhanced one simply because it's not too extreme on either sides. Now, after that, you can connect a pixel to track customer behavior. So you can connect your Facebook pixel and then click on confirm. Now, after that, you're going to click on, I agree to Meta's conditions and then click on submit for review. Now, after that, this may take up to a minute and you will be able to connect your Facebook and Instagram after the approval has gone through. Plus, when you do this, you're going to be able to run ads on Facebook and Instagram directly from here. And you don't necessarily have to go through Facebook campaigning as a separate thing. You can integrate it into your marketing for your Shopify products. And you will also see your product status. So to start selling, you need to set the product status as active. Currently, we don't have any active products on our Shopify store. So let's wait for this finalization to be completed and then we can set up our product. Now, you guys will see that currently our sync failed because we don't have any products. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into products over here. I have a diet plan and it, it, is, it is zero in stock. That's why our sync is not happening. So I can just go on to this particular item and then after that, I can add this track quantity click on save over here and then after that i can also add variants but let's just take a look at our product and i also want to be able to continue selling like so and then let's say i want to build some more product so i'll take another product over here let's say it's a painting i can click an image or upload an image over here i'm just going to take this image over here then I can add the price, the cost per item, and then the quantity as well. Click on save over here. Once you have added your product, now you can go back into Facebook and Instagram. And this is just a sample example. Obviously, when you have hundreds and hundreds of products already added to your Shopify store, you're only going to sync them. But what you're going to do is click on view all synced products. And currently nothing is synced. But what we're going to do is we're going to resync view products and you can see no products are being added. So I'm going to click on add product. 
like so so i've added some newer products over here and once i have added all of my products you guys can see i can click on settings on facebook and instagram i have my catalog added now if your catalog is not being synced properly i can click on disconnect over here click on disconnect and now after that i can reconnect my facebook and instagram to be able to show all of my products so now I am going to reconnect. Obviously, if your products are not syncing, I do recommend that you end up doing this method instead, simply because if you have a lot of different products and it's going to be difficult for you to sync them manually. And I want to click on publish products over here, online store, point of sale, and Facebook and Instagram. Click on include products over here. And now after that, your active products will be added. Now I don't want to include exclude them like this. And then what I can do is I can click on include in sales channels and then I'm going to select all three of my sales channels, which are my online store, point of sale and Facebook and Instagram. Then I'm going to click on include products. And now if I go back onto my Facebook section over here, my products will be synced up. So if I go into Facebook and Instagram, if my sync has been completed otherwise, it will also display my products. Now, currently I have my product catalog connected and you can see if you open it up in Meta. So if I open it up in Meta, I will also be able to see the items that I've added on Shopify as well. Now, it also says that it might take up to 15 minutes for Shopify and Facebook to sync up. So keep that in mind whenever you are syncing your products. Now. This is just your connection to Facebook and Instagram. You can obviously connect to other sales, sales channels as well. And if you take a look at any of your sales channels, if you want to exclude certain items from Facebook and Instagram, let's say you're not looking to sell your diet plan on Facebook or Instagram. So you can click on this particular item in your product section, then click on these three dots over here, click on exclude from markets, or exclude from point of sale. So exclude from sales channel and then click on Facebook and Instagram, click on exclude products. And then after that, this particular item will be excluded from the sales channel of Facebook and Instagram. Now, in this way you can manage all of your products. It's really simple and it's really easy and it can be a great way for you to enhance your product markets. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video